today's health headlines. Today, news that Pfizer reports its vaccine for kids to be safe and effective. The CDC approves mixing and matching COVID boosters, plus advice on choosing the right booster for you. Here today is Dr. Jamie Meyer, Yale Medicine Infectious Diseases Specialist and Associate Professor at Yale School of Medicine and Public Health. Doctor, welcome back. Thanks for having me. So Pfizer is reporting its vaccine for kids, a, a smaller dose, is shown to be more than 90% effective. Your thoughts? Yeah, this is really exciting news uh, for those of us, first of all, looking to end this pandemic, um, but also for those of us, especially um, with kids in this age group, uh, myself included. Um, Pfizer studied this vaccine among 4,500 kids in this age group overall. And um, basically there were very few cases uh, in the folks who, uh, in the kids who actually got the vaccine um, as compared to 17 cases in the kids who got the placebo. Even more importantly, it was found to be safe. There were very few adverse effects, if any. It was really well tolerated. Most kids just sort of reported a sore arm, if anything, at all. Um, and so this is really exciting, uh, exciting news. Um, the Pfizer is going to go forward and present this data now to the FDA advisory panel, which is set to meet uh, next week. All right. What can you tell us about the CDC approving and mixing and matching of COVID booster shots? Yeah, the, look, the CDC today is really widening uh, the recommendations for who's eligible for uh, for booster shots. That is, no matter what type of vaccine you got the first time around, um, you can now get uh, a booster shot if you got Johnson Johnson. Um, if you got Moderna or Pfizer, they're still mostly recommending it among people who are higher risk. Um, because they're older, have underlying health conditions, are at high risk of exposure. The data on mixing and matching comes from a relatively small study actually from the NIH, about 500 people. And it basically found that no matter which combination of vaccine you get, um, people do uh, really well, they tolerate it well, and it does mount, they do mount a sufficient immune response. So that's sort of the most important thing in terms of being protected against infection. All right, what's your advice on which booster to get and when to get it? Yeah, so some of this is about um, uh, individual decision making, you know, your, uh, your own personal health and potential uh, risks and benefits. Basically, if you got Johnson & Johnson the first time around and it's been at least two months um, since your shot, uh, you can go ahead and get any three uh, of the brands of vaccine as your booster shot. Um, if you got Moderna or Pfizer the first time around, you're one of these high risk groups and it's been at least six months, again, you can go ahead and get any of the three of the, uh, the vaccines as your booster. They are available. Um, you need to tell whoever's administering your vaccine that you're coming in for a booster, um, especially if you're getting a Moderna booster because it is a half dose. So just be aware to, to, to tell them that it's a booster dose you're getting. Um, but yeah, to get what's available to you, whatever's accessible. Amazing how far we've come in the last year. Yale Medicine Dr. Jamie Meyer, thank you once again for the very latest.